Oh, good morning, K6. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, I am here in a place that is not my kingdom. No, I am not the boss of everywhere, of course not. I have other places where I like to go on holidays when I'm tired of being king. No, this place is called a... Uh... Oh, no. I can't remember. Help! Help me out! I can't remember. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. It is a f f f forest. Ha ah, ha, yes. Now, I do not live in a forest. In fact, there are no lions to be found. Not even one. It's a sad thing if you're a lion, but it's okay. We cannot live everywhere. We need to leave space for other animals. And if I lived in a forest, the other forest animals might be nervous. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Who does live in a forest? Hmm. Let's see. Let's look around. Don't look at me. Hey, oh, hey, that's Mr. Hurd. Mr. Hurd doesn't live in the forest either. He comes and hangs out sometimes. Yeah, he hangs out, but doesn't live here. No, 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 no. Okay, what else? Mm, up there. Oh, that's a good idea. Up there, there might be squirrels. Yes, there might be squirrels. And, but there are also birds. And this story, of course, is about birds. Let's go see if I can find some birds who live in this forest so they can tell you more about being a bird. Hello. Hey, I heard King Marv was walking around. He was looking for a forest. Nope, he wasn't looking for a forest. Of course not. He was in a forest. That's ridiculous. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, oh, I can't even remember that. Oh, I couldn't remember what I was saying. And now I don't remember what I'm called. Oh, yes, yes, of course. I'm a, called a penguin. Yes. Now, this is my home, my forest, where I live. What's that? You gotta say it louder, I can't hear you. You're on the other side of the screen. What? Why? What do you mean I don't live in a forest? You don't believe me? I can't hear you again. Oh. Mm. It's true. All right, all right, all right. It's true. I don't live in a forest. But I am a bird. I am a bird. Mm, penguin, are you sure that you are a bird? I've birds that I know can fly. Yeah, I know. Can't fly, but I can swim. Yes, but perhaps that makes you a fish. No, I'm... I'm not a fish. Fish. Fish smell terrible. Smell me. Oh, yeah, good point. Good point. Good point. That, now, I am a bird. Yes, perhaps, but you do not live in a forest. Well, neither do you. Oh, very true, very true, very true. But I'm the king. So, kings get to do what they want. Oh. Ooh. Hello, K6. Hello. Whoop. Got to practice waving. Whoop. Whoop. When I wave, my head goes up and down. You ever notice that? Oh, it's hard to wave without my head going up and down. Oh, dear. Oh, well, maybe that's why birds don't wave in real life. Now, you see, K6, today's story is finally the story about birds. Yeah! It is, it is, it is. Today, today's the day. Today's the finally the day. Yes. Oh, I'm calm again. Here I am. Hi. Oh no, again with the head, again with the head. Oh no, okay, I gotta stop trying to wave. Oh.
Oh dear, I'm so embarrassed. Now, today's story is about birds and, and, and kings, which is why Marv is also here. Because you know what Marv says, Marv, he says this. Oh, my name is Marv, and I am a king. Yeah, do you like my imitation of Marv? Don't tell him I did that. He might not be angry. Well, he might be angry, actually. No, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. I should stop talking because I keep forgetting what I'm going to say. Okay. So, today's story, King of the Birds. Take it away, Mr. Hurt. Good morning, K6. Today's story is called, oh, I think Parrot already told you. It's called King of the Birds. Now, you need to know what one of the birds in the story is. It's called a waxbill. His name's a waxbill. And he doesn't live in Canada. He's small, just little. That's one of the most important things. He's really small. You'd sit just in the palm of your hand like this. Okay? And not only is he only tiny, he is beautiful. He is purple and orange and red, best of all, blue tail feathers. His feathers at the tail are a beautiful shade of blue. Now, I'm going to show you a picture. Are you ready? And then I'll be right back. When I was a little boy, I asked a lot of questions. I asked them at breakfast. I asked them at lunch. I asked them in the afternoon. I asked them at supper. I asked them at night. And not just at bedtime. No, no, no. I'd wake up in the middle of the night. And I'd think, oh my goodness, why do apples not taste like pineapples? And I would run and find a grown up and I'd wake them up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Why do apples not taste like pineapples? And they would say, oh, go back to bed little mr herd go back to bed <sighs> i was so frustrated i wanted to know so many things i wanted to know why does red not look like orange how does this how does the water get up into the sky so it can fall like rain so many questions now the one grown-up who never got frustrated with me was my grandma now, one day I was sitting in Grandma's kitchen, and I asked her, I said, Grandma, Grandma, I know that lions are king of the animals. I've heard that before, but are they king of the birds, too? Do the birds have a king? And Grandma, she poured a little more tea, and she said, Little Mr. Hurd, that is a very interesting question, and I'll tell you a story. Now, once upon a time, there was an eagle, and his name was Nkwazi. Nkwazi the eagle. <coughs> he carried all the other animals together and had a meeting. <coughs> I've gathered you here today to talk to you about something. The other king, the lions, the lion, uh, oh yes, the lion is the king of animals, but birds have no king. We need a king as well, and I suggest that it should be me. All the birds started to argue, well, no, it should be me, it should be me, it should be me, it should be me, quack, 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 it should be me, quack, quack, it should be me. And the crow flew up and go, quack, I'm the loudest animal. The king should be able to be heard. The albatross came up. Vroom, albatross, huge wings. And he came up and went, vroom. My wings are so big that I can reach from one side of the kingdom to the other. And that is good for a king. Hoo-hoo, 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 said the owl. I can see right across the kingdom. And a king 
should be able to see his whole kingdom so he can know what's happening. Said the rooster, what good is a king who sleeps all day and is only awake at night? You can't be king, that's ridiculous. I, on the other hand, wake up first thing in the morning and I go, and everyone wakes up and I'm awake all day. And when I go, everyone listens and they wake up and they obey me. And that is important for a king. Mm -hmm. The rooster came running up. Wow! I've got the biggest eggs! Everyone, <laughs> ostrich! What is me? Big eggs got to do with being the king? The animals, birds, everyone was arguing, 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 makes a color, and then whoop, 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 up came the little wax pal. Right? Up came the little wax pal. Excuse me! Excuse me! Uh, I should be king! I should be king! All the birds laughed. The wax bell, you are tiny. How can the king be so tiny? We can't have a tiny king. No one will listen to a tiny king. You can let's go home, wax bell. And wax bell said, but, but, but look at me. I'm beautiful. Kings should have beautiful robes. I have purple and orange and gold in my robes. Kings should have such colors. <laughs> I think we've had enough of this, <laughs> said Inquasi. <laughs> we should just stop arguing. I suggest a contest. <laughs> Inquasi said, oh, contest. Who can fly to the top of the sky? The bird who can touch the top of the sky first. We'll have a race. Who can go up that high and touch the sky and come back down? They can be king. All the birds agreed. And they came back together the next morning and they watched for the sun to come up. And when the sun came up over the horizon, they all started to fly. Woof, 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 up and up. There was a horrible commotion up. They went up. Oh, not the ostrich. Ostrich can't fly at all. So he didn't win. Definitely not. The rooster, yeah, he went up and then boom, crashed. They're terrible flyers. They, they're they very cute and they're, 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 they're really useful. That they, They'll go cock a little doo, but, but they can't fly. Terrible. The albatross, boom, boom. Albatrosses, they can fly from one end of the earth to the other with their huge wings, but they're not very fast. So they didn't win. The owl, well, remember it was morning. What happened to the owl? Yeah, he went home to bed. Yeah, exactly. Now, the last left were crow and eagle. <laughs> I'm gonna win, I'm almost there. And the crow was like, ah, ah, ah. and Inquazi looked at the crow and he did this with his talent. And he kicked Crow out of the sky. <laughs> I'm gonna win, I'm almost there. And he flew through a cloud and almost all the way up to the sky, and suddenly, boom! Out of Inquasi's, underneath his wing, who is there? The little wax bill. That's right, the little bird. Boop, 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 boop. Little wax bill, me. He couldn't fly very far. He couldn't fly all the way to the sky, but he was quick. So at the very last second, he jumped out from under Nkwasi's wing and whoop, 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 flew and t touched the sky. He took his tail feathers and whoop, dipped them in the sky. And he flew down with his brand new blue tail feathers. Down he went. Grandma, Grandma, does that mean that the wax bill is the king of the birds? Hmm. Grandma looked at me and she poured another cup of tea. And she said, little Mr. Herd, you see, the birds, they can't decide. Did the wax bill cheat? Did the wax bill not?
Now, if you go for a walk in the forest today and you listen, you might hear the birds arguing 